Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 32 of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it seems Octem and everywhere else in Sabuka's Islands is back to normal. They're saying that the mayor is at the ruins, so I better talk to him. Aha! Thank you all so very much! Aha! Thanks to you, now I can laugh from the bottom of my heart! Aha! Ha ha ha! Whatever. Hori is still alive. In a distant world somewhere. I just know he is. Um, eh, keep believing, old man. Just keep believing. Whatever. Hori used to be in this shrine. Yes, yeah, so the rest of you guys, at some point. I feel so sad when I think of what happened to Hori after guiding us for so long. Hey, life happens and then we all die. Get used to it. Just focus on living your own lives, as insignificant as they may be considering your NPCs. Can't get any more insignificant than that. Anyways, we're finally done with Sabuka's Island, so why don't we head for Caristo Kingdom? The flying trains? Oh, they're out of operation until the mist is gone from Caristo Kingdom. Oh! Fun! I didn't know it was you! I'm sorry, you want to go to Caristo Kingdom? Of course, I'll make an exception for you. The crewmen are waiting up there. Oh, and before you go, I recommend buying plenty of the Doors of Wind. <sighs> I already got that taken care of. Let's go. Experience ancient history and nat nat natural grandeur in Dreamfield Caristo. Even though it's practically a nightmare due to all the mist. What's in here? Flying trains, using Seru power to cross the ocean in a single bound. Sounds fun and reliable, I hope. Can't believe we're going into the mist. That should be interesting. The gondola is good and ready, but... We can only take you halfway to Crystal Kingdom because of the mist there. Oh, don't worry. We'll unhook the gondola midway, and the momentum will take you the rest of the way. Until Caristo is missed free, you could say it's a one-way ticket. Could. Thank you for what you did for us in Underground Octum. I just knew you'll be heading to Caristo Kingdom next. That's why I was waiting here. Good to know. Now then, we can leave anytime you want. Well, I'm on a one-way ride to Caristo. Let's go. Affirmative, yes siree! You know... When you got that flying Zeru around your back, you remind me of Dr. Octopus in the Spider-Man series. Here we go! Attach flying Zeru! All personnel in standard flight positions! Okay, that guy seems like a badass. Oh my god! That is just awesome! It just grew in giant size! Look at that, it's huge! So that's what moves the train. <laughs> She's so excited. It's like, oh my god, it's a train! I'm so excited! Oh my god, it's a train! Alright, the flying saber already. Now stop stalling and get on board! Okay. Guessing that conductor commandeered the flying Seru, so now we can go to Caristo Kingdom. To think that's what those structures were across the Bukas Islands were. They were actually like uh, power poles for the whole rail. Who'd have thunk it? I mean, you gotta admit the design is pretty cool to put all that detail in. As it goes along, more power lines are visible. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's a long way east, but we're gonna make it to the third and final region of the game. I mean, look at the ocean, it's so vast. 
really hate for us to crash and fall. I think only one region is still dealing with the mist. Fun! Kala! This flying train is great! We're breezing across the ocean! Look! Look! Octem is already out of sight! We're already at Crystal Kingdom! Soon we'll be on Conkrum! Yeah! Conkrum! I know. Hari did say that your parents were in Conkrum, didn't he, Noah? Vaughn, when I was in Byron Temple, I once heard... In Crystal Kingdom, Sol and Conkrum were at war when the mist first covered the Earth. Sopu said he believed there was some connection between that war and the mist. I think he was right, Vaughn. But that's not all. Behind everything, deep inside the mist, I sense a horrible evil. Now it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Uh, why are we stopping? Vaughn! Something's wrong! The flying train stopped! That is strange. We're still in the middle of the ocean, and Caristo isn't even in sight! Something's not right. Why would we stop in the middle of the ocean like this? Huh? Why don't you go up and investigate, then? Man, I hope they're getting paid a lot of money for this! This looks dangerous. Hey! What are you doing stuck in a place like this? Blah, 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 and blah, blah, we, blah, blah. What? What? I said blah, blah, we, blah, blah. I mean, what's wrong? What happened? We were just talking about it over here, and... This is not good. They say the mist in Crystal Kingdom is much stronger than they expected. So if we go any further, the mist will start affecting our flying Seru. I thought we could go farther than this. Oh, don't worry. It's a nice downhill slope from here on in. We'll just unhook the gondola, and with a little momentum, you'll coast right into Caristo. Leave everything to us. Just close the gondola door and wait. We're counting on you. Affirmative. Uh, is this safe? Okay, are you ready? Hold on tight! Man, the mist really is thick! You can barely see the rail at all! Uh... Yeah, this is fast. Whoa! Man, we're going fast! That guy's overexcited! Hey, hey, that's enough! Unhook us, unhook us! Fun? Noah, Gala, we're counting on you. Good luck. Damn! They better get extra pay for this. Hey, are you all right? The mist disappears. Next thing I know, we're swimming in the ocean. Where are they gone? They're gone! I hope they're alright. Too bad the gondola doesn't have any brakes. What? But hey, those guys have Ross Seru. You said it. Nothing can beat a Ross Seru by your side. Alright, let's go back. Shoot, I wish the flying Seru could swim. Man, they're on the ocean, too! Uh, yeah, be thankful this is not America, otherwise everybody will get involved in a lawsuit. Shouldn't we jump out of the train before it crashes? Screw that, let's just stay there and crash! Man, that was one rough ride. Well, well. First you're wandering all over the place, now you're napping here? 
Kara! As a matter of fact, we were asleep. Five more minutes. Kara! You're so pathetic. See what happens when you depend on those flying trains? Hey, we're still alive and you call us pathetic. I can't keep getting you out of trouble, you know. Hey! I never asked you to help me! Be thankful, Noah. Kara, what are you doing here? What is that? I can't believe this! That's the floating castle! The one that sprays mist down from the sky! Wait, a floating castle and it sprays down mist? Uh, so this is an RPG's obligatory flying fortress or flying castle. Most RPGs tend to have one. Or anything that's floating. Wait... If that's generating mist, does that mean that Caristo's mist generator is a flying fortress? How the hell are we supposed to get up there, then? Just spraying mist all over the land. That is not gonna help us at all. Because we don't fly. He took everything from us. The floating castle! It's gone! Tell me, Kara. How are you able to travel freely through the mist? How do you escape possession by Seru when you don't have a Ross Seru like us? Ross Seru? What is a Ross Seru? All I have... is this good luck charm. Kara! That's a Ross Seru egg! Wow! Kara, where did you get that Ross Seru egg? So that's what you call it. A Rosseru egg. I didn't know that. Kara, can I have that Rosseru egg? Why? I don't think so. No, you can't have it. It's mine. Why should I give it to you? Ha <laughs> ha! Makes a lot of sense. Without that egg, she won't be able to survive in the mist. Well, I have to get going. I have things to do. Wait! Kara, where are you going? Sorry, that's a secret. Oh, that woman. But, I wonder where she got that raw Seru egg. Kara might really be a nice person. After all, she helped us up. Ah, so now we're in the land of Caristo. It's still full of mist. Hey, what's the sign? There's a poster titled Official Guide to Sightseeing in Caristo. Yeah, I'll read the contents. Seoul. The world's largest city, Seoul, is known by many as Ligaya's entertainment capital. Visitors enjoy the full facilities, theaters, fighting, fighting arenas, amusement parks, and more. Seoul is actually a single giant structure with a history going back hundreds of years. Enjoy the breathtaking view of Caristo Kingdom from the observatory at the top floor. That would make sense because Seoul is really the word for sun, and it's gonna tower up like the sun. So what about Buma? Tucked into East Caristo Ravine, Buma is famous for its Genesis trees and its lively streets. The beauty of the three cliffside Genesis trees paints a picture of awe-inspiring maj majesty. Houses lining the river have also helped make Buma famous the world over for its quaint appeal. As far as Buma goes, there's actually another fishing spot there. Urumais, the mysterious city of ancient ruins. Who built it? Why? The answers, like the city itself, are shrouded in mystery. But Urumais is also world famous for the new type of Seru that come from there. Most Seru, of course, are born of two Seru parents. But in Urumais, a new type of Seru occasionally appears from out of thin air. Some say they come from a hidden Seru world somewhere, but their true origin is unknown. The unshakable fact is that in Urumais, Seru appears suddenly from out of nowhere. 
Several travelers sent by the Emperor of Seoul monitor the ruins day and night. Uh, there's probably one more part. That would be the Navora Ravine. Navora Ravine, famous for its beauty, is located in northern Buma. Climbers wishing to visit Navora Ravine should travel through the limestone cave in northern Buma. And that's pretty much it. Huh, what's this? It's a finely crafted doll! Writing on the doll's chest says, Honest Person Store. Unattended kiosk by Travel Kits for Peace of Mind. Please insert 3,000 gold for each kit. Uh, what's in the kit's contents? Okay, five healing blooms, one door of wind, and one door of light. I'll take one. Yes, I will put 3,000 gold into the box. Just to be nice. I don't remember what happens if you don't put in 3,000 gold, but do it anyway. Someone dropped 3,000 gold? Huh? There's nothing wrong with that. I'll pick it up. Okay, there was nothing over there. Just a bunch of barrels and trees. With that, we can finally travel through Caristo Kingdom. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, right now we're in the far south. And it seems there's a building over there and something over there. That must be the ravine or something. That looks like Seoul over there. So to get to Seoul, we have to go northwest and then go around the mountains. Okay, this is a, a gigantic area. It's a whole lot to see. I wonder what's at the far north. It's very ominous. Either way, we're likely going to run into some new enemies. Let's be prepared. Prepared. Game? Thank you. Oh, so here's some new enemies. Acid Slime and Groot. Oh yeah, they look nasty, alright. Let's go after the slime first. Nice. Care of the slime. Now let's let this to Groot, and I assume Gala will be it. Ow! Thanks! Ooh, still alive! Okay, so clearly the enemies are a bit tougher than in Sabuka's Islands, but that's to be expected. Nothing we can't handle. Lucky. I mean, look at these new weapons and armor that we picked up. You gotta admit, red claws do look cool on Noah. Especially since she's a redhead. Okay, we gotta keep going through these mountainous paths to get to Seoul. Hopefully we won't have too many battles on the way. Up oh, here's a new enemy, a moldy worm. Uh, Vaughn, why don't you take care of that? Noah, you're gonna have to spear it. Gala, you use theater, starting with the Groot. Alright, look at him, he's trying his best. Oh, thank god they never connected. I'm pretty sure that it looks right. And that worm's still hanging in there. Yeah, okay. Someone's a bit violent. Alright, theater, do your worst. Oh yeah, that'll do. Well, that took care of the worm. Yep, so now let's take out the groove. No Tempest Break, but close enough. Ooh, no one levels up! That's good. That's good. 
So far, we're piling on the experience, which is always a good thing. So, we're close to the entrance. We have to go all the way around. One big giant hole. Up oh, here's a new enemy, the uh, Killer Bee. Well, technically it's not a new enemy because we fought it before. It's just the first time we fought it here. You get the idea. Last time we fought a Queen Bee was over at Grim Elm. Nova, you know what to do. Overkill! Indeed, thanks for the sting, now you're gonna die. Just a couple more hits, we'll have to do. Enough? Yes, it is. <laughs> now, can we finally head for Stoll? Nice little bridge leading to the tower. Ah, we made it! Did you just trip? Wow! Beautiful, isn't it? There's that floating castle again. Wonder if we can reach the castle from here. So, this is Seoul. I never imagined that such a huge city could be built by human hands. This must have been built with the power of the Seru of long ago. The flying trains, the city itself, truly a pre missed civilization. Let's see what it's like inside! Noah, wait! Don't go in alone! Well, come on, Vanagala! Let's go! Ugh. <laughs> There's no arguing with Noah. Come, Vaughn. We're all going inside. Agreed. Let's go. I heard in Seoul there's actually a lot to do. You'd be surprised. Look at all the signage. Okay, that way is go down. Oh, it's huge! Fun, Gala, look! It's huge! That's what she said. I heard Seoul was a big place, but I never imagined it was this big. But it's engulfed in the mist! Wait! I sense human thoughts. There are survivors in there! The mist doesn't seem to have reached the upper parts of the city. But be careful! I sense indescribable depravity. Fine, Gala. Let's be careful. Okay. Warrior monks of Byron were sent to Seoul. I hope they are still alive. Okay, so safe to say the bottom floors have missed, but the top ones do not. So this must be like the second floor? Either way, we're gonna have to save. I haven't really done that since, like, well, before Dohati. Okay, I don't really want to explore the bottom floors yet. Uh, yeah, you clearly look distressed. Yep, there's mist here, too. So the higher we go, the less likely we're going to encounter the mist. Oh, this must be a weapon shop. Ah. 
Swift water. Okay, should I use it now? I think I'm gonna use it now. Ah, there it is. Okay, clearly Gala needs it the most. Huh, another save point. I might as well check out everywhere I can. Today's special ostrich, special chicken omelet, quick fried blowfish, and worms. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. I'm going to ignore these treasures for now. Don't worry, I'll come back for them later. Okay, there's still mist here. So this must be the third floor. I'm not gonna worry about what else is here. I'm just gonna go for the spots that are above the mist. Fun! Gala! Wait a minute! I hear something! I hear someone fighting! Yes, I hear it too! The sound of a monster roaring, and the sound of a sword. Hmm, shall we go check it out? There must be someone being attacked by a monster! Come on! Let's go help! Okay. Sound stopped. Whoever it was must have been killed by the monster. How do you know? Maybe it's the monster that got killed. Huh? Villains! So thou were trying to ambush me! Grotesque beasts from hell! Pack a Seru demons! Prepare to meet thy doom! Thou shalt die by my astral sword! Hold it! Old man! Calm down! We're not Saber Monsters! Yeah! We're human beings! This is awkward. Forgive me! I apologize. Thou art indeed human, as I detect no madness in thine eyes. I am Gaza, an old man who walks the path of carnage and bloodshed. Forgive me my incivility, as I live in such a defiled land. Then why don't you leave? But this demon slayer is no place for woman nor child. Hmm? Huh? Mar... No, of course not. Mine eyes doth deceive me. Mar is no longer of this world. In the upper floors are ones who would greet thee. Make haste. I take leave of you now. That old man, Gaza. Now there is a true swordsman. He does not drop his guard for an instant. But his eyes... His eyes show no emotion at all. They were lifeless. Cold eyes. Very disturbing. That old man talks so funny. I couldn't understand him. But when he looked at me and called me Mar, he seemed so nice. Well, I guess we might as well go up. I believe we can get two new Seru here. Spoon is one of them. Ah, oh, there's the inn. So as you can obviously tell, like the top floors tend to have some good stuff. Like this is the floor for the inn. And this must be the pub. Oh, I can't take it anymore! Start acting like a man! It's Kara! Fun! That's Kara's voice! It's coming from there. It sounds like an argument. Let's go see! Fine, let's go on inside! That Noah's always poking her nose into everything. Come on, Vaughn. Let's go. Eh, I guess. Hope we don't get ID'd.
Yep, somebody's drinking their problems away. That man next to Kara, it's... Grantis! I'm not saying this because I hate you! I just want you to get back on your feet! I want the Grantis of ten years ago! Before the mist! Look at buddy to the left, so sad. He just wants a drink, too. Everything I did, I did them hoping that someday you would get back on your feet. I was a no-good thief. I used the confusion to steal from people. I did things that would make my parents cry if they knew. Me, a woman! I did all those things! Don't you feel anything? I'm grateful. I'm sorry. Grantis! You're a sorry excuse for a man! Living off a woman, you're no better than a pimp! Ouch! Fine! What's a pimp? Oh god! If Grantis is a human, how can he be a pimp? Um... He's a... I'm just gonna say I don't really understand either. Well then, Gala, can you tell me what a pimp is? Uh, well, I am a monk, and know not of such things very well. That seems to be what one calls a bad man who doesn't work and has a woman support him. A pimp is a bad man? Aha! I get it! Why this is bad! I hate people who are bad! Wait, Noah! Don't be so hasty! I'm gonna get Grantis because he's bad! Whoa, that's a good way to get arrested! Grantis is bad! Pimps are bad! I hate pimps! That's why I won't let Grantis get away with that! No, don't! Stop, please! He's not bad. I'm the one who's bad. It's all my fault. So please, don't hurt him. If you want to hit someone, hit me. Why should I hit you, Kara? Grantis is the one who's bad. Noah, don't interfere in their business. Come on, let's go outside. <laughs> I'm just gonna play the piano. I didn't do anything. But I didn't do anything wrong. Grantis is the one who's bad. Just play the piano, mind my own business, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna stop drinking now. Noah, this is adult business. You can't go sticking your nose into it. Why? Adults are humans, too. And I'm a human. I'm a human just like them. Oh, I don't understand. Gala, tell me why. Oh, brother. This is awkward. You're so strange. You're one to talk. Come on, Noah. You want to go to Conkrum, right? You want to see your parents in Conkrum, right? Y yeah, I do. Okay, Gala. I'll take care of Grantis later. No, you won't. Gala's like, ugh. So that's the jazz club. That's the elevator. That's the muscle dome, which I'll save for later. That's the Soul Fever Disco, which I'll also save for later. Another elevator. Soul Broadway. What's this? That's the bakery. The arms shop. Another elevator. The warehouse. Community hall. Soul Cafe. Wait, let me check out the cafe. 
heard there's an arcade room, too. Wish I knew where it was. It's not here. Actually, I think it's somewhere back on the third or the fourth floor. So let me go there. I don't want to go to the arm shop because I'd rather save my money. Money is tight these days. It's not Broadway, of course. Not the disco. Oh, Muscle Dome. I'll check it out. Eight! Nine! Ten! And there's the bill signaling the end of the fight. A colorful fish and finish in only 1 minute 47 seconds. The contestant in the blue corner has won a record victory. A gobu gobu? Ah, so this is the arcade room. You can play the slots or you can play Baka Fighter. So, anyways. Baka Fighter! Yeah, can I quit? Because I don't actually want to play. Uh, what the hell. I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, we'll do something else. See ya, everybody.